What is up guys, I'm Glacio and welcome to the bonus episode. In today's bonus episode, 66.5 will be defeating an Eidolon. I've been meaning to do this for quite some time and I've just never got around to doing it. Uh, but it's really useful. Because first of all, you get a bunch of sentient cores, intact, exceptional and flawless. And also, you get Eidolon Shards, which you need to build the... I don't know what it's called, is it the Paracesis? Something like that. Uh, the Sentient Killer, the Sentient Slayer. <clears throat> we'll just refer to it like that. So, basically, it's something you should definitely get around to doing. Now, uh, we tried to kill an Eidolon in like episode 3, and obviously we failed. The first thing you'll need is a moat amp and just in general your operator abilities because they're the only ones uh, who can harm him in the first phase. And you also have these little guys, uh, Vombalists, which give you sentient cores and they're pretty useful. So go ahead and destroy them. Uh, going into void mode will shield you from all of his attacks which is great, so when you're in void mode, it's like you don't even exist. It can't damage you. And the first phase is you just, yeah, you just harm him uh, with your primary ability. The second one, he has like four weak points on his limbs. And now he can be harmed by all weapons. So you just target one of those and break it. And then when you break all four, that's when the final battle begins, let's call it that. There we go. That's one broken. Uh, obviously it's easier doing this with a team because uh, obviously more damage, but it's entirely possible to do on your own. Not for me, yet, uh, because you need some, like, you need much better weapons than what I have equipped, but yeah. I tried to de defeat an Eidolon once on my own, and I was defeating him, but it just took too, too long. So now he teleports over there for some reason, and I got a bit confused, because that had never happened before. Uh, you also, the little Vomilists, you can destroy them and take their energy orbs, and then put the energy orbs into drones called Eidolon Lures. Now, I'm not sure quite what the point of those is. I know they're useful and it's good to have them in fights like this, so, you know, when you can, when you're not shooting him, when other people are shooting him, you go around and take out those little Eidolons and uh, pass on the energy. You see those two drones right there and pass on the energy to the drones. Yeah, but he deals like a massive amount of damage, so if you let your guard down for one second. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, there we go. If you let your guard down for one second, I mean, he's pretty much going to obliterate you. Now, I do love the Motamp, but it's pretty awesome, and you can rank it up, too. So, uh, the, um, and also just another thing, he has this attack where he stomps the ground and like sends out a sort of push wave that pushes you very far away from him. If you want to avoid it, um, just kind of dash into it as it comes towards you and then you'll counter the momentum. Oh, there we go. Got an exceptional one. Oh, God. Yeah, this, this is kind of where the game glitched out a bit a bit for me, because I could move, but I was down, so... Uh, anyway. Yeah, I, uh, I needed uh, these sentient cores just so I can rank up with the quills. And I think an exceptional one is worth five regular ones, and a flawless one is worth 12? I think it's 12. And then also you get an Eidolon Shard. 
from feeding him. Which you also need to rank up with the quills, but at a later level. So I, I won't be uh, leveling up with the quills to that degree that I'll need idle on shards. No, no, no. <laughs> That's going to be... That'd be a bit too much work for me. Okay, there we go. Another one of his uh, health bars down. You, you can, uh, like, go around collect these sentient cores. It's, like, super useful. And then after each uh, defeated uh, weak spot or limb, he just emits a big blast of energy. So, you can go into void mode and hide from it. That's how you avoid it. I, I mean, otherwise you can't really avoid it. Yeah, but, um, I mean, I don't know. It's, I'm pretty glad I did this fight. You also get an achievement for defeating a Terrorist. Now, I think there are two more Eidolons. There's a Terrorist, a Hydro List, and something else. Like a Gargantua List, something like that. I don't know. But I think, I mean, the Hydro List represents the water element. Terra less the earth element, and then I guess the, the, the last one would be like fire or something. I'm not sure if that's how it even works. But the story behind these Eidolons is pretty cool. They're like pieces of a like big sentient that was defeated here, and they're searching for the remaining fragments. So it's like your arm was looking for the rest of your body. That's what these things are. Now this phase, he will summon his little dudes to come and heal it, uh, him, and you have to destroy them as they come, I think. So I think you can get three exceptional cores and one flawless uh, core, and then just a bunch of um, intact ones. Oh yeah, it's pretty awesome. So these dudes, oh god, I'm getting hurt a bunch. Ah, you see, that time it pushed me away because it wasn't fast enough. And also, another great thing, Umbra will fight while you're in operator mode. So basically have like a constantly active scepter protecting me. Although he can't really do anything against anything in this uh, fight because uh, all Eidolons are immune to regular damage I think. And now this is the final phase where you just damage him and bring him down. Jesus Christ, that's... You see how far away that pushes you? You really have to... Like, if you use the dash a second too late, you'll already, you'll already be like 100 meters away. It's crazy. Again, I'm not sure what the lures do, but... Uh, and that's it. Guys, thank you for joining me for this bonus episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll be defeating more Eidolons on my own time. But I just want to show my first Eidolon battle. Now you get shards, brilliant shards, and an arcane, which I'll be getting into sometime later. Anyway, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. -bye.